Hey guys, this is KD and welcome to getutilized.com. In my earlier video, I showed you how to make a wired bot. In this video, I'll be showing you how to turn these things into wireless, basically with the help of radio frequency. I brought this transmitter and receiver kit from Vega RoboKit. It is basically a DIY kit. So we have to solder all the components on the transmitter as well as on the receiver. So let's go ahead and unbox this. This is basically the RF module, transmitter and receiver, two of them. We are at the PCBs of the transmitter and the receiver. The receiver will come on your bot and the transmitter is in your hand. So it basically transmits the data from the switches. It goes to the RF and it goes to the receiver on your bot. The components on your receiver, all the components on your transmitter. Oh. They have also provided antennas. Good one. This seems to happen some info about the transmitter and receiver module. And this shall be description of the circuit and all the components. Uh, let's take a close look at the PCB over here. We are having some slots for the decoding IC. This is HT12D, the name of the IC. Uh, here you can see the word select has been deleted. So this is basically the DIP switch. So you have to move this up and down to keep it high or low. I'll explain you later what I'm talking about. Uh, here you are having some resistors. Here we have some diodes and oh yeah this is the 12 volt dc input this is motor inputs two motor inputs for the four channels these are the places where the rf module goes you can also insert the 8 pin modules as well as the 3 pin modules this is ic7805 mm. we are hanging some capacitors over here and these horizontal lines or vertical lines or these plane lines are jumpers so you have to just shorten these two points over here. Now what remains on the circuit is our motor driver IC. Now we are using L298N. So this IC basically has a current consuming capacity of 4 ampere. So we can draw 2 ampere from one channel and 2 ampere from the other. This is basically IC298N. Has a heatsink on it for higher current capacity. Here are some of the input terminals for the motor and the battery. This is IC HT12D, the decoding IC on your receiver. And this is 7805, reduction from 12 volts to 5 volts, regulator IC. And some other components such as the register, we have few capacitors and we have diodes. Now let's begin the soldering of our receiver first. Now this is basically the list of all the components we are using in the receiver module. We will start with the resistors, capacitors, the other semiconductors and the other accessories. So let's begin with the resistors. Now they say that R1 now they say that R1 and R2 is of 1 kilo ohm. It is one fourth of a watt. So go ahead and find a resistor of 1 kilo ohm and place it right here because this says R1 and this says R2. So with the help of VB Roy of Great Britain had a very good wife, the famous register color code chart. Go ahead and determine which register is of 1 ohm. So and bend its legs. Insert it right away. And just give it a tiny solder spot over here. Now before you actually go ahead and solder all these components, I would like to give you a tiny bit of advice. Take a pen knife and take any, any random component and make sure you scrape off its terminals because you know there is a tiny coating on it which uh, doesn't allow 
these components to get soldered on the PCB. So after you complete with all the resistors, go ahead with the capacitors and follow this list one by one. So let's go ahead and solder all the resistors at first. Here we go. As you can see, we have soldered all the four resistors. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to take the three capacitors and solder them in the right place. So here we go. This is C1, C2 and C3. So C1 now is basically of 100 mUF and C2 is 104 and C3 is 224. So go ahead in your components and find these three capacitors and solder them in the right place. Here we go, we have completed with the capacitors. The next thing you'll be doing is taking the semiconductor components that is the U1 is HT 12D that is a decoding IC and it is basically provided with a IC socket. So the first thing we'll be doing is taking the IC socket and soldering it. You're not soldering the IC, you are just inserting the IC in this socket. So basically you have to solder this socket. So the next thing is U2 L298N. This IC shall go over here. It is basically a 15 pin IC. So make sure you insert them correctly. And U3 7805 goes over here in a particular way. I'll show you after soldering this and the next thing is D1 to D8 we have 8 diodes and the value is IN4007 so this is the place where all the 8 diodes go and you know you can see over a see over here a slight, slight line this is the cathode part of the diode this is basically a diode and as you can see this grey covering is the cathode and make sure you solder them correctly I have completed with all the semiconductor components now the next thing remaining on your receiver PCB is the connection for the battery and a motor your 8-way DIP switch which comes over here jumpers jumpers are basically just single strand wires and your RF module now there is a unique way of soldering your RF module over here now we have this 3 pin RF module now one of these 3 pins is 5 volt the second one is data and the third one is for ground now bring in your yellow sheet and this is the schematic of the receiver module so the leftmost pin is negative the center one is data it is input output and the rightmost is positive come back to your PCB again so this is 5 volt data and ground so this thing shall go in like this so go ahead and solder this here we go we have successfully completed with the soldering of the receiver it hardly took me half an hour and make sure all these spots are shiny if they are not it might be a dry solder so you may need to resolder them make sure your RF module is soldered in the correct position or the correct way make sure these ICs are not shaking so here we go basically we have completed with the receiver now repeat the same procedure on the transmitter so let's go ahead and start with the transmitter here we go your transmitter looks something like this Turn on battery connection and the RF module this white wire is an antenna now let's come to your receiver and I'll show you how to connect your motors. So here we go, I fixed the receiver on the bot. I fixed it basically in a plastic case you know and I've added a switch between the positive terminal and the receiver. I've also added a connector strip for better connections and this is a 12 volt 1.2 ampere hour battery. So as you can see we are having three connections over here, one is for battery the second is for left channel and the third is for right channel now make sure we are understanding the terms channel this thing is your left channel this both the motors are your left channel and these two motors are your right channel so what basically you're doing is unifying the wires of these two motors terming them as left channel and connecting it in one of these two terminals same goes with the right channel so one of them is a left terminal and the other one is a right terminal. So one of them is a left channel and the other one is a right channel. 
and pulling out the antenna from here closing it as simple as that turn it on and let's take it out for a run